have always felt the best teams that I ever coached for 35 years in high school and junior college and, and division one, that our most successful teams were the player led teams. They, they weren't coach led. I, I think there's a misnomer in the public's eye that coaches do this and coaches. Do that. Let me tell you, players win games, players win games, coaches. Yes. They put the schemes together. And, the, but at the end of the day, the guys who win games are, are the players and you've got to entrust them to do the things that they're good at. I like it. I mean, I've never coached football before, and maybe that's just too large a group. But I, I think getting together with those that are leaders can, can always be a positive thing and let them take control of that locker room without coaches there. You know, I, I think a lot of times when guys have come back to me when we were struggling, I'd get word back, hey, the guys met together. Man, that's a good sign when the guys meet together and they kind of work through those things. And, um, you know, that's what – that's what great teams have. They have player-led teams. This is a time when the five or six or eight or ten guys that are leaders in this team need to step up and uh, hold everybody accountable. I'm talking about players, not coaches.